Hey, my precious family. Today is March 4th. I would love to share this precious message that um that I received this morning. I prayed. I opened the Bible. I put my hands on it and opened my eyes. And wow, glory to God. And I would love to share it with many of you because it will help many of you. And as well, this message is for me as well. Glory to God because Jesus is good. Jesus is almighty. Um, Let's get straight into prayers, my precious family. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for your love and support of each day, Lord. Thank you for your amazing words, Father, Lord. Your words are true, honest, living, Father, Lord Jesus. And thank you, Lord. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for opening our eyes, our ears, our hearts to you, Father, Lord. Thank you for guiding us to your instructions, to your word, Father, Lord. Lord Jesus, Lord, I pray the blood of Jesus Christ over this video, over all your children, Lord. I pray for healing, Father, Lord Jesus, for deliverance, Father, Lord Jesus, for chains to be broken in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, you're invited into this house. You're invited into this room. You're invited into the, everybody's home, Father, Lord Jesus, whoever accepts you in their life, Lord. Lord, you are welcome here. We love you, Jesus, and we thank you, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that this message, message touches many people's lives, Father, Lord, because you are a faithful, loving God, and we praise you, Lord. Lord, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, speak through me. May the words be always true and honest that comes from you, Holy Spirit, and never my own way, never my own form, never my own understanding. Holy Spirit of God, thank you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I praise your holy, amazing name. Amen. Okay, my precious family, we're going to go to the, um, to the book of Luke, um, chapter, I'm sorry, verse 12 through the 26. So it says, it, the title says, Jesus heals a man. It says, once Jesus was in a town where there was a man who was suffering from dreaded skin disease. When he saw Jesus, he threw himself down and begged him, sir, if you want to, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I do want to, he answered. Be clean at once. The disease left the man. Jesus ordered him, don't tell anyone, but go straight to the priest and let him examine you. Then to prove to everyone that you are cured. Offer the sacrifice as Moses ordered. But the news about Jesus spread all the more widely and crowds of people came to hear him and be healed from their diseases. But he would go away to lonely places where he prayed. Jesus heals a paralyzed man. It says, one day when Jesus was teaching, some Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there who had came from every town in Galilee and Judah and from Jerusalem. The power of the Lord was presented for Jesus to heal the sick. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a bed, and they tried to carry him into the house and put him in front of the in front of Jesus. Because of the crowd, however, they could find no way to take him in. So they carried him up on the roof, made an opening in a child's, and let him down on his bed into the middle of the group in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw how much faith they had, he said to the man, your sins are forgiven, my friend. The teachers of the law and Pharisees began to say to themselves, who is this man who speaks such blemishes? God is the only one who can forgive sins. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, why do you think such things? It is easier to say your sins are forgiven you or to say, get up and walk. I will prove to you then that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, get up, pick up your bed, and go home. At once the man got up in front of them. All took the bed he had been laying on and put and went home. Praising God, they were all completely amazed, full of fear. They praised God, saying, what marvelous things we have seen today.
My precious family, this message is so amazing and so strong as well at the same time because God deserves God deserves all the glory. This is all God's glory today. Amen. Hallelujah. And every day. My precious family, I don't know if 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 you have seen what the scriptures are saying because it's so strong. It says that Jesus healed this man that had a dreaded skin disease, my precious family. And it's all by faith and believing in God, my precious family. Because if the man did not have no faith, he would not come to Jesus for healing. But he had faith. And he, in the says right here, when he saw Jesus, he threw himself down and begged him, Sir, if you want to, you can make me clean. It's by faith that he believed in Jesus, that Jesus is able to heal him as well. As um, when the man was paralyzed and um, they were trying to find a way for, for him to come in where Jesus was. So what they did, they opened the tiles and they, they put him down right in front of Jesus. And because they had faith and believed in God that Jesus is able to heal this man, they did what they could to get to Jesus so he could be healed. So what did Jesus told them? Jesus said, at once the man got up in front of them, took the bed that he had been laying on, and went home praising God. Because you know why? Because Jesus said, get up, pick up your bed, and go home. Because he believed in God. He believed in Jesus Christ that he is able to be healed. Yes, hallelujah. And you know what, my precious family? We could compare this to our lives, my precious family. Because you know why? Because by the blood of Jesus Christ, we are healed by, by us having faith in Jesus, by us surrendering to God. Jesus heals us from the inside out, my precious family. And many people are witnessing this in the Bible and many people are witnessing this right now in the world, my precious family. Many people are, are being witnesses right now and witnesses and people being healed and being delivered and being transformed and being, um, being, um, a light to people. And you know why? Because of Jesus Christ. Because our Lord has done everything. He has taken our sins. He took in our wrong. He took in everything on his own to save our lives, my precious family. It's all by faith we are healed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And it says, as it was showing right here, how how it says right here on um, verse 15, it says, but the news about Jesus spread all the more widely and crowds of people came to hear him and be healed from their diseases. So ever since Jesus healed this man, right here it says Jesus healed this man. He had a dreaded skin disease. And when everybody used to see this man, he had this disease. And out of nowhere, they see something different from him. And they're like, whoa, wait, what is going on? It's because Jesus healed him and people started like, whoa, how did you got healed? And ever since his message of the, of the man being um, healed by the dreaded skin disease, people started wondering like, wait, who is this man who healed you? And they're just going to probably look at this man like, wow, he is healed. He is healed. He has been having the skin disease for who knows how long and he is healed. And for this man... Going to the priest, he is, and how Jesus told him to go straight to the priest, and to um, so they could examine him and to prove to everyone that he is cured. For for Jesus healing this man that had the dread, the skin dreaded disease, w many people witnessed and seen. Wow, this man is healed. By Jesus Christ. So everybody start coming to the Lord. So everybody start coming to the Lord. And my precious family. That's what's happening now. By what you're going through. Jesus is healing you. And before, people are going to be witnesses in your healing. And they're going to come to God. They're going to come to God. People are going through many things right now, my precious family, but you are a walking testimony for God to glorify him. You know, my precious family, we got to think like, you know what, Lord? You are using me, my situation, my storm, Lord Jesus, everything I'm going through. It's not for me, but it's to glorify you and how Levi, how Jesus told Levi. Get well, I'm sorry. It says Levi got up 
left everything and followed Jesus. Because you know why? Because Jesus told them to follow me. Jesus told him to follow me. Meaning, Jesus told Levi, follow me. And he just did. But you know why? In order for him to get up and follow Jesus, he needs to have faith and believe that that who he's following is our true Messiah. And he knew it right away that Jesus was the Messiah. And he knew that Jesus is the way. So if he didn't believe, he would not get up and he would not follow Jesus. If um, if the man who was paralyzed did not believe that Jesus was able to heal him, he would not go all the way over there and did what they did in order for us, for, in order for them to get in front of Jesus. And in order for this man who had a dreaded skin disease did not believe in Jesus Christ, he would never be healed and he would never be a walking testimony for Jesus Christ. But you know what? What is the, what is um all of these stories putting together? They all believe and they all healed and they all were transformed by Jesus Christ. By God, because He is able, and because He's love us, my precious family, and we gotta, we gotta speak life over ourselves and our lives, and be like, you know what? I'm healed by the blood of Jesus Christ. My marriage is going to get better. My marriage is going to go up because I have faith and believe. And what are all these three persons had? They all have faith and believe that Jesus was able to heal and deliver and transform. And, and God is doing this in our lives, my precious family. And we are walking testimonies. We are walking testimonies for Jesus Christ. And we are also witnesses because we have seen it with our own eyes what Jesus has done in many people's lives lives my precious family i pray that this message touches your heart because when i read this these scriptures i read them multiple times and today it just hit me even stronger and i'm like thank you lord jesus thank you holy spirit because it's by god that opens our eyes to see his word and i pray that 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 everybody understands I'm right now, I'm just like in awe right now of God because God is so amazing. He He just reveals himself in many shapes and forms, signs and wonders. God is good. And I'm just in awe of the Lord because he is a good, good father, Lord Jesus. Because precious family, whatever your situations you're going through and battles and stuff, just know that God is fighting that battle for you. And he is healing you. We got to believe and have faith. Faith as small as a mustard seed. We could tell that mountain, they got it got to move. It has to move. Because we could do all things through Christ who strengthens us. By God's strength, we are able. We are able by God's strength in our own strength, family. We will fail because we are weak in our own strength. Our flesh is so weak. But leaning on God, He is the way, the truth, and the life, my precious family. And He loves you with all His heart. He loves you. He heals us. He delivers us. He transforms us. He, he saves our lives. My precious family. He did not came to condemn us. But to save our lives. My precious family. And the enemy is trying to switch that. And the enemy is trying to put lies in our mind. He is a liar. And he's trying to hurt us. My precious family. Keep your eyes on God. Because he is the way. He is the only way. That will, that will keep on going up, up, up. And not down. Pray to God. Talk to him. Prayers are very strong, my precious family. Prayers is you having a contact with God, with your Holy Father, with Jesus Christ. Oh, invite the Holy Spirit wherever you go. Holy Spirit, you are invited here. Holy Spirit, lead me. Holy Spirit, guide me. Holy Spirit, teach me. Holy Spirit, may I be sensitive to your voice. Lord Jesus, may I be, may I be able to see the signs and wonders that you are revealing to me. Because my precious family, God speaks to us through numbers, through signs, through people, through his word oh jesus is god almighty he reveals himself in many shapes and forms my precious family god is good and god is great my precious family right now i'm just like whoo hallelujah i'm just like who i'm just so excited right now i'm just i'm just i'm just in awe because this is all god's glory and he deserves it all all praise all honor and i pray that this touches your video. This touches your video. I'm sorry, Virgin Fan. See, I'm so excited right now. I'm just so excited in awe of God's word. I pray that this message touches you. And just start proclaiming. Start proclaiming like, God, 
I believe and have faith in you, Lord. I believe and have faith that you're able to save my marriage. I believe and have faith that you're able to save my family and opening their eyes and opening up their ears and filling them up with your Holy Spirit, Lord. And remove that constant heart, Father Lord Jesus, and, and, put, and put a pure heart into them, Father Lord Jesus. My precious family, praise, praise God and pray over yourself. Like, Lord, you love me. I believe, I believe and have faith. You love me. I believe and have faith. You are with me. I believe and have faith. You're guiding me. I believe and have faith. You're transforming me. I believe and have faith that you're going before me and you're fighting this battle. That's not mine, that you're fighting this battle for me because in my, in my strength, I'm weak, but by you, Father, Lord Jesus, in your strength, I'm able, I'm able, and I'm going to keep on walking forward. Lord Jesus, you go before me. You said you you um fix that crooked path straight father lord jesus because you are god almighty nothing cannot go nothing cannot go against you father lord jesus because you are who you say you are and your words stand true and honest yes lord and we praise your holy name my precious family see my precious family god is so good because i didn't even know i was going to do this video i didn't even, not even know this was all going to happen my precious family but this is for all god's glory and whatever we're going through family just know that this is a testimony to glorify god and never to boost about ourselves but just for god and just people are going to start opening their eyes because of your testimony and because of what God did to your life and what, what transformations happened into you and your family and your marriage and your children and your jobs and everything that you're going through, precious family. This earth is not for us, but as long as we're here, we're going to glorify God and do what we can to bring God's children back to him. There's so many lost sheep right now because we were once one. But as long as we keep on going forward and keep on passing the word of God, even just telling somebody, God bless you, even just telling somebody, you know what? Jesus loves you. Just telling them that, that, that word, you're going to see how big that word is going to grow. And that seed, how big that seed is going to grow. Jesus is ultimate God. He is an almighty God. He is a consuming fire. He is our counselor. He is our Messiah. He is our King of Kings, our Lord of Lords. He goes before everything and everyone. He given his, our Holy Father given his only beloved son for us, my precious family. And we can never say, wow, does Jesus love me? Yes, he loves you. He loves you with all of him. He loves me. He loves you. He loves your children. He loves your husband. He loves your wife. He loves your animals. He loves everything. Because God created the earth in six days and rested on the seventh. God is good and God is great, my precious family. And I pray this video touches your heart because it touched mine surely this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for this morning. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, my precious family. I know this video is a little long, but I pray it blesses your morning and blesses your whole life to the day that Jesus comes because Jesus is coming very soon. I don't know the day or hour, but I believe in God and I believe his coming. Is, he, I believe he's coming. I pray that we are worthy of going with him. I pray that we have his precious sealed on our forehead, that our names are written on his book of life, that we are, that we are, are, are in all of God always and have them in our hearts and our minds and our bodies and our souls and to keep on passing Jesus, Jesus, Jesus to everyone. Even if you put a little logo on yourself, be like, Jesus loves you. And people read it like, whoa, wait. <laughs> so I feel like that logo is talking to me. <laughs> My precious family, I love you. Jesus loves you so, so very much. And know and believe that he is able because he has given us his Holy Spirit. His light is in us. His precious blood is covering us. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And stay strong to the end. Shalom.